What's up guys, Danger Yu-Gi-Oh! channel here, Danger speaking, and today we're going to be talking about that brand new ban list that just dropped last night at midnight. Well, it might not be last night by the time this gets uploaded, but this is being uploaded the day the ban list becomes officialized, you guys. So, I can't wait. Let's roll that intro and then we'll get right into it. Okay guys, and we're back. So, I got my good friend, Band Hero Stratos with me today, and he's gonna help me go over this ban list with you guys. So first, we're gonna check out the cards that are newly forbidden on this ban list. And going from three copies to zero copies, we have Samsara Lotus. Now, I don't know how many of you guys heard about that loop effect, where uh, the loop FTK, where using Samsara Lotus, Trickstar, Black Cat Bat, I believe it's Nightmare, um, Severus, and then Topologic Bomber Dragon, my spirit monster of the Link era. I swear, I've pulled more of those than I've pulled any Link monster that's a secret rare. And, um, anyways, what happens is that you have Firewall up in the Link monster zone. Underneath it... In the um, rightmost zone, you have your Severus link co-linked to it. You no, know, that would have to be in the middle, yeah. Yeah, it would have to be in the middle zone. Then co-linked Severus, you have your Trickstar Black Cat Bat, and then you during the end phase, what happens is Samsara Lotus Special summons itself from the graveyard if it was sent there that turn. It is not a hard once per turn. It is not a once per turn in any sort of way, shape, or form. And so what happens, it gets summoned out to the zone that Trickstar Black Cat Bat points to. Topologic Bomber Dragon nukes the main monster zones. And due to Severus, your Black Cat Bat doesn't die. So Samsara Lotus goes back to the graveyard. It inflicts, then Black Cat Bat inflicts 200. And then, oh look, it's still the end phase. When rinse, wash, repeat. Uh, Konami doesn't like FTKs of that sort. Now, I saw that, and I'm thinking, okay, that's interesting. Not Probably not applicable, but according to Konami, it probably might be. So, it's banned. That's another one of Aki's cards taken down on the ban list. Apparently, she's not the great plant wizard we thought she was. <laughs> yes, 5D's jokes. Okay, and another card going from 3 to 0, we have Nightmare Goblin for you guys. So, no more Degenerate Extra Link plays. Hopefully. Hopefully that means that they won't just start randomly using Black Cat Bat as one of their pieces. They'll probably use something like, um, uh, either Black Cat Bat or, no, Black Cat Bat requires Trick Stars, so they'll probably use something generic. So they'll probably end up using Proxy Dragon from last year's tins as their new piece to throw in there. Ah, Goblin, broken. Extra normal summons. I'd rather have Seraphronite. I like Seraphronite. Matter of fact, um, thanks to this new ban list, I'm going to have to give you guys an update to my fieldspell.deck deck. So check out for that in the next couple of days, and I'll, 
I've got a little bit of an edit going on. Um, contemplated adding in the Predator Plant engine to help search out Brilliant Fusion. Now I'm definitely doing that. <laughs> Thank you, Banlist. And then another card going from three to zero, we have my pal MX Saber Invoker. Well, there went that rogue deck. <laughs> my X Sabers just lost their probably only good card of the era. I mean, like, seriously. I was all extra happy to have Invoker start getting used, but then I realized it's probably going to get banned, and oh look, it did. Not much to say about that. And that's the last of the cards that got banned on this ban list. So now we're going to move to our limited cards. You're only allowed running one of these. And so the first card going from 3 to 1 is A Assault Core. That's definitely interesting. So instead of deciding to go after Cannon Soldier and all his friends, they went after the A Assault Core, which was the whole thing you were attributing with Cannon Soldier. Well, that kind of kills the ABC deck. Not that it was really seeing much play on its own, but it definitely removes the Cannon Soldier variant from the picture. Not gonna lie, that'll make a few people sad, but, you know, I've got mixed feelings about this myself. I liked the Kaiba Structure deck, and I liked the retrains of the VWXYZs in the new ABCs, but at the same time, they were a little too powerful. And the next card we have, going from 0 to 1, is Elemental Hero Stratos! So my good buddy Stratos, you're no longer banned, I can throw you back in my Elemental Heroes where you belong! <laughs> that is amazing, guys. Now, um, you're probably thinking I threw Stratos up here just because it's a joke. And you know, I've actually had this planned to use Stratos as my friend ever since... The last ban list came out, I thought, hey, let's have a friend help us unveil the ban list, and, well, Stratos, <laughs> you're free. <laughs> You've been removed from the ban list lobby. Uh, Microsoft finally gave you your playability back. Now let's see how long you stay unbanned for. Let's go, buddy. Let's destroy the world again. And the next one going from zero to one is Morphing Jar. Oh my gosh. What is this, 2005 format? <laughs> like, seriously, having Morphing Jar back has been so long. Like, I cannot wait to start playing Morphing Jar again. I loved Morphing Jar. It's just like, oh, look, I used up all the cards in my hand. Set Morphing Jar. Free hand! And then we got Heavy Metal Foes Electromite going from 3 to 1. Ouch to them. Pendulum players. Eh, not gonna lie, screw Pendulum Magicians. Get them out of here. And another card going from 3 to 1, we have Psy Frame Lord Omega. Um, this is an interesting hit. This was a big thing in 2017. Not really so much now, but okay then. Then going from 0 to 1 is Evil Storm Exiton Knight. Hey, another rogue deck getting its support back. Uh, I really loved Evil Heroes. Well, not Evil Heroes. Um, Steel Swarms, Evil Swarms. X-Sabers, I thought those were all really cool decks for their time. And I have a working X-Saber deck. Well, Bob, um, it's going to get relegated to the retirement folder. <laughs> but it's time to actually build that Evil Swarm deck, I guess. And going from 3 to 1, a hero lives. Well, not going to lie, I figured something Elemental Hero would hit the list. If Stratos came back ever. Although I was thinking more like Danklaw, but meh, what are you going to do? And going from 0 to 1 to help out Danger Dark World is Card Destruction. You know, that's probably the same reason why we got Morphing Jar back, but wow, that's something I never thought I would see unbanned due to Trick Stars. And yet, here it is. Um. Testing time. I'll probably have another Trick Star list coming up for you guys soon, too. And going from 3 to 1, we have Sky Striker Mecha Hornet Drones. Screw you, Sky Strikers! Burn in hell, and, um, I don't see Engage yet. So, uh, I don't think they touched Engage then. A little disappointed in that, guys. Uh, engage way too broken. But, okay. And another card going from 0 to 1. We have Super Polymerization! I haven't seen that thing since the GX era, dude. Not gonna lie, I am so shocked. 
Eat Heroes got a huge super buff. Let's go, let's make E Heroes great again. We got Stratos, we got Super Poly. Let's throw that random orb from Jar in there too, because why not? And now our semi limited cards, so you can only use two of these in each deck. We have from going from one to two Cosmo Dark Destroyer. Really? Cosmos? I hate Cosmos. Going from 3 to 2, so going down 1, is Copy of Called by the Grave. Matter of fact, I was just getting ready to um, cut out this proxy version for some testing. To go into a deck, and I don't have to anymore. Sweet. That'll save me about 30 seconds. Now, Called by the Grave is actually really good. It is an effect failure. One thing people seem to forget is that if there's a monster on the field activating its effect, and there's another copy of it in the graveyard, you can get rid of that graveyard copy, and it negates... The card effect. So let's read Called by the Grave, actually. It says, target one monster in your opponent's graveyard. Banish it. And if you do, until the end of the next turn, its effects are negated, as well as the activated effects and effects on the field of monsters with the same original name. That's an ouch for Cyber Dragons. Like, big, but it's gone down by one, so I don't mind that. And next, we have going from 1 to 2, Limiter Removal, we'll trying to help out Cyber Dragons. Not that I think they'll see much more play. Uh, Limiter is actually kind of bad for them, unless you're going for the OTK. And going from 3 to 2, we got Scapegoat. Well, I wholeheartedly thought that I would either skate past or get banned, but going to 2, okay. Okay, I don't mind as much. I'm not a big Scapegoat player. I don't run a lot of the Nightmares or anything like that in my decks, so seeing a scapegoat on the list doesn't hurt that much for me. And going from two, going from three to two as well, terraforming. That one hurts. Um, looks like I'm gonna have to replace a copy of terraforming with a copy of Metaverse. Not gonna lie, that's gonna hurt consistency a bit. Ouch, that is going to make YCS a little harder. And that's the last of the semi-limits, so let's roll over the page and see the cards that got completely removed from the list, guys. Super excited for this part, my favorite part of every ban list. So, going from 2 to 3, we have Towers. Well, nobody cares about Towers anyways, right? Hopefully. And then we have Destiny Hero Disc Commander. Stratos, your best friend, just got unbanned. And completely removed from the list, but he's got an errata, and he's completely worthless now. He has a hard once per duel, and you can't use the draw effect the same turn he's sent to the graveyard. So, um, he's more than poop scoot and worthless, if you ask me. And going from two to three, we have... Burial from a different dimension, um... Not gonna lie, I don't remember what that card is. Quite legit. I believe that might be the thing that if it's like, targeted dark that's banished, special summon or something like that, I don't remember though. Uh, tell me what, down in the comments below what the hell that thing is, please. And then Ring of Destruction, kinda of figured that would come back. Um, nobody's playing it. So, of course it's gonna come back. So, yeah. And that's that. So, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. Um, how many of you are happy that they finally freed Stratos from his ban list hell? I'm so happy I cannot wait to throw him in Elemental Heroes now. Like, oh my gosh. Um, heck yeah, let's go, guys. Anyways, um, let me know about your thoughts about the ban list down below. Tell me what you think that they screwed up on. Tell me what you think that they probably shouldn't have done on the list that they did. Uh, leave your thoughts down there, and we'll totally t have a nice conversation about it down in the comments below. As always, though, guys, this is the Danger Yu-Gi-Oh! channel. I am Danger. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. This is the Danger Yu-Gi-Oh! channel. And my now unbanned boy, Elemental Hero Stratos, signing off.